What's going on, Grace Nation? Welcome into another Grizz Game Day update. I am Kelsey, and I am joined by Kate Scott, the play-by-play -play announcer for the Philadelphia 76ers. Kate, this is a cool one because it is the number three on the East, number three on the West coming together. The Grizzlies have won their last three, the Sixers their last four. Um, I'm going to start really quickly because I know that Grizzlies fans watch this, like who is playing tonight, because we have had a Long injury list all season. Today is one of the clearest we have had. Tyus Jones is questionable with health and safety. And then, of course, Dylan Brooks is out with his left ankle still. But you guys are not so lucky there. You're missing three remaining oh, guys. I know. And I wish just as a basketball fan, Kelsey, first of all, thanks so much for having me. But just as a basketball fan, right? The day he's named Eastern Conference Player of the Week, he's been playing so darn well as of late. Ja has been playing so darn well for you and the Grizz. East meets West. I know we were all really excited about this, but understandably for both teams, right? As you mentioned, three and three division leaders. It's not about winning this game at the end of January. Both teams are obviously after a championship. So I understand that as a play-by-play -play announcer, but just as a basketball fan, I was really wishing that Joel would be playing tonight, but yeah, off the MVP rest, candidate. understand it. Yep. Yep. And the Grizzlies haven't seen Joel and be play in two seasons. So I know, I know. There's like an extra, like, we would actually like to see you play, sir. Um, <laughs> I, I, I guess the teams will just have to keep playing well, Kelsey, and we'll just have to meet in the finals. What do you say about that? Oh, okay. You just shake on it now. Deal. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've also got Milton and uh, Ferk out, who are two, like, main rotation guys as well. Yeah. So I was looking at the last time these two teams played. It was 126-91. That was in Memphis. Ooh, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't pretty. Um, no. A lot of that had to do no Embiid, no jaw on our end. Um, and you guys went four for 22 from the three-point line. You got out-rebounded 50 to 38. So I'm assuming you come into this game with a little bit of like wanting to get some payback, especially wanting to bring that to a five-game win streak. Uh, that that's what the hope is, right, Kelsey? And also no Seth Curry for us when we were in Memphis. And obviously yeah. Seth is a big part of the offense in yeah. addition to Joel. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was a burn the tape game. Uh, that was the, the one game really this season where after the game, everybody, Doc, the guys who played just said, yeah, we were awful. We got beat in every facet of the game. And most importantly, as Grizz fans know, I mean, you guys are one of those teams who always brings the effort and energy. Even if your shots aren't falling, you're still going to play great on defense. You're still going to be right. The grind, all, all the stuff that the Grizzlies have been known for forever. Um, so in addition to playing great basketball, y'all just out efforted and out energied and out everything to us. So I was at shoot around this morning. Doc is kind enough to let me uh, observe. And that was one of the things that they pointed out. Hey, we don't have Joel tonight. That stinks. Don't have fur can shake. That stinks. Every other team in the association right now is dealing with, with injuries or losses because of the health and safety protocols, but don't let them out effort and out energy you again. So no doubt that was a game that they just really got run off the floor in every aspect of it. So just as a competitor, I'm expecting the guys to come out with much more energy and fight tonight. At least that's the hope. Okay. I mean, yeah, that, that would be the hope. And, and we talked about just being basketball fans. Like that's the hope for everyone. You just want a good game. Right? <laughs> exactly. Even if it's not the stars, you still want guys to just come out as we saw the other night here. I mean, the Sacramento Kings without De'Aaron Fox and every Sixers fan who was in, in attendance was thinking, oh, we're going to boat race them off the floor. This isn't even, even going to be close. And it came down to a last second miss by Harrison Barnes because this is the NBA. Every team has really good players and depending on what kind of fight they bring that night, it, it can be a battle all the way to the end. Yeah, we had a game the same night, but I had your, because I knew we were playing you next, I had your box yep. score up on the side <laughs> of my thing. And I was like, there was like eight seconds left or something. And I don't get to watch. I'm just watching the box score. I'm like, what? right. like what's happening over there? What? <laughs> uh, Halliburton hit another three. Uh, yeah, he did behind the backboard. So as you know, anything sure. can happen. So that's where it starts tonight because obviously they don't have their superstar in Joel Embiid. So I'm hoping that they just come out hot and, and you know, punch you guys in the mouth and be ready to get punched back and, and we'll have a ball game tonight. All right. Here's my one question. Well, I have a couple, but here's my first question to you then. Okay. How important going into this game, knowing that John Morant, obviously is the star of Memphis. He's leading the league in points in the paint. We know he gets downhill. That's how he scores. Uh, how important is Matisse Thibault going to be today? Oh, he's going to be huge. I mean, he's the one who I've circled be because of what you just said. I mean, the big moment for him so far this season was, I think it was the game before we played you guys, Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors here in Philly. A and that was the matchup, understandably, that everybody circled. Okay, who and how 
are the Sixers going to slow down Stephen Curry? And Matisse Thibel had one of the best nights, I think, of his entire career. And everybody in the league took notice. So I expect him to start on Ja tonight. And I expect him to, what we were just talking about, the focus and the energy and the fire. Matisse is not here for his offense. Hopefully that, you know, evolves over the next few years. But he is a defender first and foremost. And he really enjoys that challenge, has since he was playing at Washington. So I'm very much looking forward to that. If Matisse can, he's not going to stop Ja. Nobody can stop Ja, right? It's the same thing that we're saying with Joel. But if he can slow him down and rattle him a little bit, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that battle tonight because obviously he, he has the length advantage. He's yeah. really good at the chase down block. So it looks like he's beat. And then a guy like Ja or Steph will go up and he'll swat him from behind. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. But, uh, but Ja is sneaky. You all know. I mean, he's one of my favorite players to watch when I'm not watching my Sixers. So I'm really looking forward to seeing those two go at it tonight. Uh, the secondary matchup that I'm looking forward to is Maxi, who was the leading scorer last time we played. He had 23 points. Who's just been playing so well this year going against Desmond Bain. Yeah. I think that one's going to be kind of like a, yes, Ja will be a great matchup and we would have loved to see him beat Steven Adams, but Maxi Bain could be the one to watch tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing that too, because okay. right. A, a couple of second year guys who are really, I mean, Bain, I think is a, a front runner right now, as you guys all know, for the most improved player of the year award. Um, but Maxi is kind of doing that here in Philly, right? He's been tasked with a huge role. Hey, take over for Ben Simmons, run this team with a bunch of veterans. Good luck. And he has taken that baton and run with it and has been, has been great. Obviously very different body types. Like Tyrese is a much smaller, quicker guy, I think than Bain, who's kind of built like a free safety <laughs> linebacker. You, you guys know I love watching him play. I just expected to see him playing in one of those conference championship games yesterday and then suiting up for you guys tonight here. Um, but hold on, hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. <laughs> it's the, we're in the makeup room at NBC Sports Philadelphia. So I tried to put a sign on the door, but you know, that doesn't always happen. But um, because of what you just said, uh, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing that one too, because you know, I don't have to say it. Bain has been huge for you guys as of late. Tyrese, as you mentioned, was the leading scorer um, in our loss when we were in Memphis, but he has been able to take over games, especially when Joel is out and he doesn't have to worry about, should I pass it to the big man? Uh, is so-and-so getting enough touches, which is one of the things he's been struggling with this year. It's kind of just like, Tyrese, we don't have Joel's 36 tonight. Just go, man. Just just go and see what you can do. So yeah, uh, I'm glad you brought those up, Kelsey. It's, it's like, you know, basketball or something. It's crazy. 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, he definitely has the green light tonight. So I am going to, this is my very last question. Whoever needs to come and get makeup done. <laughs> Let somebody come do their makeup. Yeah. Um, I was looking at kind of like the, the team matchups of the whole season. And so the Grizzlies are number one in rebounding. The Sixers are surprisingly 30th, which that really surprised me. You got Andre Drummond and Joel Embiid. I was like, hold on, but. But they're, but they're not very rarely on the floor at the same time. So fair, fair, you get fair. rebounders, but. Uh, points in the paint, it's Grizzlies one, Sixers 20, and then second chance points, Grizzlies one, Sixers 26. So I look at that and I'm like, well, I know how the Grizzlies want to score. I understand that their stats are going to be rebounding, offensive rebounding specifically, second chance points, points in the paint. Yeah. What's the big stat for the Sixers? Yeah, the big step for the Sixers is don't go four of 22 from beyond the arc tonight. Like they did. There we go. <laughs> but that's been a big point of emphasis all season. Like, yes, the rebounding was going to be down because Ben Simmons is such a great rebounder. They've lost a lot of height and length on the perimeter when he's out. Tyrese is just not as good of a rebounder as Ben Simmons, right? But how, how can you make that just a little bit better against a team like your Grizzlies tonight, right? No, you're probably still going to win the rebounding battle, but don't let the Grizzlies win it by 20 points. Yeah. You know, I was looking at your box score against the Wizards, right? That was a huge point of emphasis for you all. And that's why I think you scored a, a, a franchise record or something in second chance points the other yeah. night against also Washington. also put up 100 field goal attempts that game. Like the pace was... Yeah. So, I mean, obviously those are things that you're really good at. The Sixers are trying to get better at. So just kind of try to meet in the middle. You know that you're probably not going to win that because they're so good at it, but got to shoot better from three and also got to keep, keep track of the basketball because we know that you all like to run and that you're so good at stealing the basketball. Uh, the Sixers struggle with that in the first half against the Kings the other night, a team that's not nearly as good as you all are at, at playing defense. So got to Keep track of the basketball, especially with the big man Joel out and, and got to start draining threes because not going to score as many points in the paint. So got to take advantage when you're letting fly from beyond the arc. Yeah, we always say threes are worth more than twos. So keep that in mind. Um, I know, I, as I, I, mind, that, I agree with you. Yep. Yeah. As I said, that, I said the Grizzlies had 100 shots last game. 
Um, just for reference, people watching at home, the Sixers yeah. had 70. So it's a huge discrepancy, but they shot over 51% of those shots went in. So there is like this slower pace. You guys are, I think, ninth in the league in pace and we're way down towards the bottom. So much more methodical because of Joel Embiid. So without him tonight, it's going to be interesting to see how the Sixers play. It's going to be a really fun game. Kate, thank you so. so, so much for watching. This has been, I just love talking to the other, the other side, you know, <laughs> I love, I love it when there's lots of respect because I have mad respect for the Grizzlies and uh, I hope that we do get to see you in the NBA finals. So best of luck every game, except for tonight, everybody. That is very fair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me.